Okay, this is how to remove the centre console um, on the Range Rover Evoque. The reason we're doing it today is we want to replace these two aluminium bits with some of our black piano trim. Okay, now basically if you come up under here, there's a Torx head screw, a T20, and there's one on the other side. So what I'm going to do is take that out. Now they are at a bit of an angle. If you zoom the camera back a bit, you'll get an idea of the, the angle. Okay, so that's the angle you need it at there. Okay, and it's a Torx T20. I'll show you the, the screw when it comes out. It's not a very long screw. Okay. Right, so there you go, that's the screw there. Okay, and then there's one exactly the same but on this other side. There's the, the second screw there. Okay, now basically this console now lifts up from the rear. There's some spring clips along the edge here, and if you give it a, a pull, it pops up. Now, you, there's only so far you can lift it. And then what we've got is these electrical connectors here. Now, again, this is the same on the other side. So if you can press in this little, just get your hands behind the wires and lift it up, that releases that connector. Okay, and it's exactly the same set up on this other side which you can't see from where you are there but if I just pop that there wiggle that one out okay so that's the two connectors now you can get it up so far and then there's this third connector under here now this one's a little more complicated there's a little red tab you've got to pull down and then there's a button in behind here that you need to press in that way and then that releases the connector. So this is the little thing we have to pull down here. And then you need to press on that bit there to release that connector. Okay. Right. And then what you can do is, so that lifts up and then it just pulls straight back. Okay. And when you go to put it back in, you'll see these locating arrows here go into the front face. So if you just want to have a look now, this is, so obviously your, your, the console panel stays here and this assembly comes out complete like so. Okay, these are the two connectors that we took out on the side and these are where they plug in, one here and one here. And then the third connector for the gearbox plugs in on this, this is the motor here that controls the gearbox. I've lost where the connector goes. Yeah, sorry, there. so the connector goes in here. That's the one with the metal clip. Now in terms of removing these side console pieces, okay, there's just a series of Torx, again, Torx T20. So it's the same screw you used previously. Okay. To remove that. Okay, these are slightly different screws to the other screws we pulled out. Okay. We just walk, work these along. Two, okay, three, yeah. Okay, so it looks like there's four on each side. I think all four screws are going to be the same, it looks like. Okay, and the last one. Bottom here. Again, it'd probably be better to take it inside and do it on a bench but for speed I'm just going to do it on my knee in the car here for the video okay that's the fourth one yeah so all those four screws that we've taken out there are the same okay and then that removes that trim there so yeah if you want to change that trim it's a relatively straightforward job to do that